for that Argyle private. Those of you who work with us with your private clients. Another tip, divorce. Statistics in Australia by and large are one in three first marriages fail, one in two second marriages fail, and I guess why bother thereafter? It's a reality of life. Divorce happens. But there's also planning that can be done, and it's difficult, I know, but helping clients to understand that there is a great deal of tax planning potential opportunity when, unfortunately, there is a breakdown in relationship. Letting them know at such a time is complex, it's hard, because they're often very raw with emotions. But one of the things that clients also suffer is that there's an uncertainty, a feeling, a fear, um, particularly on the money side, on the financial side. So raising those tax planning issues early, believe it or not, is actually important. Believe it or not, can also actually help the client to focus on some of those issues that need to be addressed. Might there be, because there's young kiddies involved, the ability to establish a child maintenance trust, which will just make those future contributions for child support a little bit more affordable. Why? Because there's more money available for the family. Should there be a capital gains tax rollover? What people don't necessarily understand is CGT rollovers are automatic in a divorce breakdown. Just maybe um, a CGT rollover is not the outcome that should be pursued. Just maybe there should be a full CGT realisation because perhaps there's concessions that are available or lower particular tax rates that apply. What's the suggestion? The suggestion is as soon as you hear of a breakdown of a relationship, I know it might for some of you sound difficult, but just raise with them now the importance of putting some tax planning around them. I'm not necessarily saying there's opportunities, but um, maybe I really am. And there are some good tax planning opportunities when the clients are facing a relationship breakdown.